Hi everyone. I know with this crazy environment that COVID-19 has created that a lot of companies and organizations that were hosting events through Eventbrite are now needing to move to using online platforms like Zoom in order to host those events. But the problem is Eventbrite isn't so good at merging with online events. They have recently added the digital links page so that when somebody buys the ticket on Eventbrite, they can get access to this page, but it's not very intuitive or easy to use. You can either put the direct Zoom link here that will take the registrant into the Zoom meeting, but then they have to click on that link on this digital links page at the time of the event. And in that way, you can't actually capture registrations through Zoom because it's just a general Zoom meeting link. And the only other option is that you put the Zoom webinar registration link here or send it in their Eventbrite confirmation email. But then that user will have to go and register twice, once in Eventbrite to get their ticket, and then in Zoom, they'll have to register again. And then another part of the problem is that Eventbrite is great because you have different ticket types. You can charge different amounts for different ticket types. However, if you register via Zoom, it does have a PayPal integration so that they can pay for tickets, but you can't charge for different ticket types. So you're kind of stuck there too. So I imagine there's a lot of companies that want to stick with their how they know Eventbrite works, but they now need to link it into using registrations via Zoom. So wouldn't it be nice if there was something that combined the two of them? Well, that's what I'll be talking about today using an app called Zapier. Zapier is what we call an integration app, and it basically connects two different apps. So in this case, we're going to connect Eventbrite into Zoom so that when somebody purchases a ticket to our event in Eventbrite, we're going to register them to the webinar in Zoom that's being set up. So we're going to do that today with this nice entrepreneur cohort event that we set up in Eventbrite. And again, here's that webinar registration page for Zoom. So if you haven't set up an account with Zapier yet, do that. It's free to sign up. Once you get to this page, what we're going to do is we're going to make a Zap. And when you create a Zap, a Zap is basically an automation and it has two parts. It has one, when this happens, and then second, when this happens, do this. So our one is going to be when somebody registers for a ticket on Eventbrite, we want to add them and automatically register them in Zoom. So first we're going to pop to when this happens, we're going to look for the app we want to connect in, and we're going to choose Eventbrite. And the trigger event is going to be when a new attendee is registered. I'm going to click continue. Now, if you haven't used Zapier before, you will have to add your Eventbrite account in here. I've already added the account before, so I'm just going to click here to use the current account. And then I'm going to choose where this attendee is coming from to uh, run this automation. So I want the event status to be live, and the event I'm looking for is the entrepreneur cohort right here. Great. So I'm going to continue. So now I'm at the testing step. So we can do, we can set all this up without testing, but testing is a really good way to make sure that everything is working how you want it to. So in order to be able to test, I'm going to go and sign up for a ticket myself. Okay, great. I've now registered for a ticket and now we should see that pop up in Zapier. So I'm going to go back to Zapier and I'm going to click this button, test and review. Okay, so it's found me. This is the what we call sample data. This shows that Zapier checked Eventbrite to see if anyone had registered recently so that we can use that data for the rest of the Zap. So if you see here, if we scroll down, you can see that it was me, just like I registered before. 
here are all my details. So that's the one I want. I'm going to select it, click done editing, and now the trigger is all set up. So the next part is to set up what's going to happen whenever an attendee registers. So we're going to go to do this. In this case, we're using Zoom. And the action event here is going to be create registrant. I'm going to continue. Again, set up the Zoom account if you haven't already. Continue. And now we're going to fill out the details that will be filled out for registration. So the webinar in this case is going to be the entrepreneur cohort. Match those up. The email. We'll fill that in by using the field fill. So basically what this is doing is it is taking data from Eventbrite and it's going to populate it or fill it in Zoom. So we can see all the data that Eventbrite pulled when I registered that ticket. It's got my name, my email address, what the event name was, all sorts of different things. When I registered for the ticket, but we're not gonna use all the information we're just going to use some key pieces of information. So when I ask for the email, I'm going to put in the email. My first name is just my first name and my last name the same. And I want to send a confirmation email to the to new registrants as well. So I click continue and now again, we're in the testing step. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to test and review. This little green bar is good. It means that the test was successful. And to check that, I'm going to go to my webinar. I'm going to refresh. And we see that now I have a registrant to this webinar. And if I view, I can see that it's me, Jacob Monash. And when I go to my email, I'm not going to show it on screen, but I have received a confirmation email from Zoom. So now that we know that the Zap is working successfully, I can click done and then I can turn it on because it's ready to go. I can give it a name. And now I see it in my uh, Zapier dashboard as a Zap that's running. And now when anybody registers through Eventbrite, it will send a registration over to Zoom for them automatically, and they will receive that Zoom registration email. One thing to note is that you will have to set up a separate Zap for every event that you want to do this for. Unfortunately, there's no easy way to set up so that any new registrant on Eventbrite for any event automatically pops over to Zoom. However, if you do want to set up multiple, then all you need to do is click this little arrow on the dashboard and copy and then that will create it'll copy that zap with everything basically set up and then you just need to go in and edit the details for the different event you want to connect so that's how you connect up eventbrite and zoom registration i hope that helps save some time and enables you to make your sign up process easier for your audience